Good morning, everybody. Today we got kind of an interesting one. We're pouring an inch and a half of concrete on the wood deck here on the first floor because he's putting radiant heat in there. And he wants the, the concrete floor to be the heating source for the house so the concrete will absorb all the heat kind of radiated out into the house. So we haven't done one of these yet this year, but we've done a lot of them in the past. So you'll see how this is going to go. Take a look at the slump anyway. Yeah. What do you think, Sean? A little bit more, yeah. A little bit more, please. You okay to go up there? Yes. We good? Yeah. Oh, we're bringing it up to 80 and see if we can get a hold. Some asshole with a staple gun shot it to the floor. Was it really a staple? Yeah. I've never, we've never seen that. Probably, was, probably done 500 of these. It was me. Huh. It was me. You don't need all that. I can reach it out. It's a little too full. 25? Get another one right there, Luke. Does that feel okay? You want maybe five more? I think we probably five more. You don't five more, Darren? Ryan, five more, get out, please. Yes, please. All right, so just let me explain again what we're doing here. We're pouring an inch and a half of concrete over his first floor deck. And we've done hundreds of these this way. And the main reason for the inch and a half of concrete is just to hold the heat from those tubes. They're going to pump hot water through those tubes. That'll heat up the concrete and the concrete will hold that heat. And, you know, it'll eventually radiate up and heat the house. So what I'm doing over there in the corner is I'm mag floating the concrete even with the top of the first sill. So that the inch and a half sill, the plate where the walls stand on is what we're going to match. And then eventually, you know, these guys, like, I think they said they're going to put tile over everything. But well, you could put any type of flooring over it, really. But, you know, we've done a lot of these like this. And the inch and a half isn't necessarily for strength. It's just to hold the heat. So we don't saw any cuts in these. We do use, we use a 3,500 pound mix still with the 3-8 stone, so the P-stone. And we put still put the fiber mesh in it. But it does... You know it's gonna shrink it's gonna you're gonna develop some cracks in it it's no big deal it's not it's not gonna hurt anything structurally um, just that's just the way it is with this thin concrete it tends to want to shrink quite a bit even if you use water reducer in it so that's you know the process we're going through right here the best way to do this one this one's really we, it wasn't that big we've done them a lot bigger so a wheelbarrow of concrete actually goes quite a ways so when you get two guys wheeling you know, two guys can can really put down quite a bit of concrete in a, in a house like this. This is about 900 square feet. So Luke and I will have all we can do just to keep up with these two guys wheeling once we get going here. But um, so Luke's kind of spreading it around with the rake. Uh, Sean, this is Sean coming with the wheelbarrow right now. And Darren's on the other wheelbarrow. You know, and that's me back there. I'll be mag floating. And then as soon as we get enough down, you know, we'll start screeding this and bull floating it. But... Just wanted to give you a little basic idea of, you know, if you're thinking of radiant heat in your home, you can have it up. You Like we could even pour it up on the second floor if they wanted it up there. It's just a matter of, you know, engineering the floor joists or floor trusses to hold the weight. An inch and a half of concrete weighs about 19 pounds a square foot. So, you know, a, a, cubic, a cubic foot of concrete 
12 by 12 by 12 inches weighs 150 pounds. So an inch and a half of that weighs about 19 pounds a square foot, which, you know, isn't this is just regular basic concrete other than it has pea stone in it. You know, we don't have to use lightweight concrete. Uh, lightweight concrete costs more than double what regular concrete does, and it's really not a, a lot less weight. It's a little bit less weight per square foot, but most houses we found today are designed uh, um, pretty much strong enough to hold something like this, and then, you know, whatever you're going over the top of it with, you'll have to figure that out later on. Yeah, I think right up that wall and down a little bit, yeah. Doing a good job, Brian. Thank you, Mike. <laughs> That's it, right? You're no, we'll hit it by hand. Oh, you are. Just to make it a little smoother. Want to keep the tall guy happy. <laughs> it's kind of quiet today, bud. I don't know what to you. <laughs> Places there's no pipe, there's like the kitchen cabinets going here. There's an island, big island probably going here, so they don't really need heat under there. The bathroom, there's a shower in there, you know, those closets, they don't really need heat in the closet. So if you're wondering why they left pipe out of some spots, that's the reason why. Yeah. If he backed all the way up there, and then he could come a couple here, a couple here, then we could probably get rid of one. Now when we do these, the bigger the room, the easier it is actually. There's more room to work, you can, you can dump out and spread out more concrete, and it just goes a little bit faster, you know, if you use, we're using a 14 foot rod over there, so this, they got one big wide open room in on this level, and then they got what looked like a bedroom and a bathroom and a closet, so the smaller rooms are actually a little bit more difficult to work in. Um, just just you know just cramped and small that's all but it's it's all part of the process of doing these you just can't really expect to get these done fast but just slow and sure gets it done now when it comes to screeding this concrete when it's an inch and a half thick I personally I think it's a little bit harder to get the concrete you know nice and flat just for whatever reason maybe because it's so thin and over the top of them tubes those tubes are I think five eighths so you've got seven eighths of an inch of concrete over the tubing and you're trying to kick and fill in your footprints, you know, as you're doing this and you're kind of walking over the tubing. But I would much rather screed concrete that's four inches thick than inch and a half thick. You can see we've got it kind of high in there and Luke's pulling back a bunch of high. That's another thing. You don't want to get so much dumped out that if you do have a big high area, you got to pull it back a ton. So... You know, right now we're just making sure we're screeding this nice and slow, making sure we're getting the area nice and flat. And then when it comes time to bull flow, you know, the interior walls make it a little more difficult so you can't go too, too far before you get this thing bull floated. And you can see how nice and smooth the bull flow leaves it. And then from there, you know, from once it gets bull floated, then we'll have to let it set up and then we're going to jump in here on some knee boards later on and, and get it smoothed out by hand. Yeah. 
We'll get out of this room and then I'll both out both these. Get up in there a little bit. You gonna head up in there? Yep. Probably come down to about there, Darren, and then I'll both out. Wait for one more wheelbarrow. You noticed what I did to your bull float? Can you teach that to the other guys? Did you notice? What I, I did. did yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah. I like a nice smooth finish. I don't like it rough. Well, I mean, I like something rough. Right behind you, Sean, for a minute. Okay. I'll work around you. Go right in that closet now? Yeah. What do you need? Scraper? Uh, right there. And you're almost out. Should have three quarters of a yard. According, according to what I figured. I'll leave that little bit in there for a sec. I'll use the little one up in there if you want. Where'd that little one go, Sean? Um, Luke. Yeah. Thank you. Get that little piece right yeah. there. Doing such a good job, Darren said. It's like riding a bike, but. Contractor. Ordered three quarters of a yacht extra. He's got it. He's got it. Good. Kept that pretty consistent. Yep, good job. Good 
Hey, don't even want me to ask you. Yeah. What's the cure time before we can walk on this? Well, tomorrow. You can walk on it tomorrow. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Did you know if we just stay off it for a couple of days? Nah, it'll be hard tomorrow. I don't know. Probably get them fucking short, maybe. Yeah, a little bit. I think you've just come along it in. There ain't gonna be that much loop. Yeah, at least one more, yeah. Try that. All right, we'll float that, and that's gonna do it. Inch and a half floor over radiant, so the ra the concrete's there just to hold the heat from the radiant. And then they're gonna tile. I guess they're gonna tile over this whole thing, or they might put some type of wood flooring over part of it. Maybe a little carpet. I don't know, but it's all getting flooring. The concrete's not really there for strength; it's just there for heat. That's how we do it. We've done hundreds of these this way over the years. They all work good. So let me know if you got any questions down in the comments. And I'll try to answer them the best I can. Hey, do your boat. I will. Jeez, just Pull be patient, ahead. crying out loud. Patient. Injured, remember? Yeah, you did take a bad one. I wonder you didn't buff your head on that. Ah. Should have seen it. You hit the ground. Ah. And if I was hurt, I wouldn't show it. All right, guys, that's going to do it. Inch and a half floor over radiant. This is the bathroom over here. Must be a closet. I don't know if that's a bedroom, what it is, but kitchen's, kitchen's over here. Well, probably living room over here. The basement's all finished off. You know, he's got an, an upper stairs here. It's about 900 square feet right here. So, got at least three floors of 900 square feet. Plus, he's got a big deck going on up there. We did stamp some concrete out back. And then we stamped some right here in the front. Can't see it, but they covered it up. So this is all stamped concrete. We got to come back and do a garage here in a week or two. So again, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.